The action taken by P&O Ferries today is a national scandal. It is a betrayal of the workers that have kept this country stocked throughout the pandemic. I have heard directly from the crew throughout the day. Their lives appended, the jobs they depended on scrapped. Workers are now left wondering how on earth they will put food on their family's table. And the management did not even have the decency to tell them face to face. They were told this life-changing news on a pre-recorded video. There are images circulating of what we are told are handcuff-trained security, some wearing balaclavas marching British crew off their ships. This is not a corporate restructure. It's not the way we go about business in this country. It is beneath contempt, the action of thugs. It is quite simply a scandal that this Dubai-owned company, which received millions of pounds of taxpayers' money in the pandemic, without consultation and without notice, have upended the lives of 800 British workers. We have, of course, long planned contingencies for situations, for disruption, particularly around the channel, and I do not expect the supply of critical goods and services to be impacted as a result of this decision by P&O, although queues on the way to Dover are more likely uh, to uh, occur. I am extremely concerned and, frankly, angry at the way workers have been treated today by P&O. As a matter of urgency, I have asked my department to liaise closely with counterparts in the Department for Work and Pensions to ensure that workers are being signposted to the most relevant support, and I am intending to call the trade unions immediately after this statement to discuss the situation with them.